Hi, my name's Gabe, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to terminate a Shield of Cat 6 cable. And to get started, you're gonna take your drama cable, and cut that to whatever length you need. Some things we'll need today are a pair of electrician scissors, I call them snips, and then you'll also need a pair of flush cuts, a small screwdriver of some sort, something with a little bit of a rounded edge, an RJ45 crimper, crimping tool, and a tester to make sure you did that right. And, thank you Tom, our actual RJ45 plug, our modular plug. For consistency in my terminations, I like to use the same form of measurement every time I terminate. So for me, that is about three finger widths apart, and you're gonna take your snips and just place it right at the base, and you're not trying to break the cable underneath it. You're, all you're doing is scoring it to make a perforation so that whenever you bend the cable back and forth, it comes clean off. And then you're gonna take your shield, unwrap it, and you're gonna fold it back just like a little cape. And you're gonna take your drain, place it on that shield as well. And you're gonna cut off that insulation. Your next step is going to be to open up the pairs and what I like to do for the cable separator is I like to thin it out before I cut it. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna take my snips, roll it around the back, pull away, and you'll see it stretch out like that. And then you're just gonna cut the excess. So it makes it just a little thinner, and when you cut it at the base, it's just ever so slightly smaller. It gives you just enough room so that when you're putting it in the RJ45, it's got a little extra space. Then you're gonna take each pair and rotate them counterclockwise at least three times. The brown and orange pair I typically do about four. It's because they are twisted a little more tightly. Then I'm gonna take my screwdriver here. Uh, it's got a hex bit and just a rounded edge towards the front. Uh, I typically use the rounded part and you just stick it through the base right where there's a little gap and you're not trying to win at a game of Beyblades. You're just trying to ever so slightly open it up. It just saves you from having to untwist each individual pair and you're not trying to damage the, the conductors. You have all four of your pairs separated. You are able to start lining them up. We'd like to terminate a 568B and uh, up on the screen, we'll have that color pattern up for you just so you can follow along. It uh, starts out with white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown. Typically, I'll flatten each conductor out as I lay it on top of another. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like a ribbon, just all in order. You've got it all flattened out. So I typically find somewhere at the front that I can cut off right where they're all super flat, nice and straight. Then you're gonna take your RJ45, you stick it on the end here, and they have individual grooves. So if you line them up right, you hold them just a little firm, nothing crazy, you're typically gonna try to get past this little window. Some people like to use pliers for this portion. I just flatten it out by hand a little bit. Once you get the cable in, it can be all right. Sometimes I like to use my crimping tool to push it in just so it holds the RJ for me, my hands. If you make it, the RJ45 will actually crimp on the jacket itself, not on the conductors. And you take your flush cut. And some people like to use RJ uh, crimpers that have a blade on them so that it cuts the conductors as it crimps. Uh, personally, I don't like to do that. I think the conductors stick out too far. So and once that's all lined up, I get my crimping tool, do a little double check on the how far back I've pulled. Then once you're all good to go, you can take your flush cuts again, cut as close up to the RJ as you'd like. Take off your foil and the rest of your drain there. And with any excess, I typically just go ahead and push it back in to the RJ. And that is it. That's one terminated cable. And there you have it, our shielded terminated CAT6 connection. To go ahead and test the final product here, you're gonna plug one end into our 
cable tester and you're gonna take the dongle and plug it into the other. And there's only one button on mine. There's many other testers where it could tell you bandwidth and just a litany of other things about your cable. But mine just says, hey, did it pass? And which pairs there are. So if it didn't pass, it would normally say open and it'll have, you know, which pair isn't correct. Uh, and then it, if it passes with shield. So my cable, of course it passes with shield. I mean, what do you expect? Man, that thing looks so good. I could put that in the back of my truck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.